As Nelda likes to say, sometimes all it takes is a spark. When we go back to expressive writing, uh, do you recommend someone try expressive writing directly or immediately after a trauma? I, I have a general philosophy, which is people are their own best therapists. You have a sense after, immediately after an upsetting experience, would this be good for me to write about right now? And the research says, if I'm a researcher, it's probably not good for me to go and rub it in your nose right now. So if there's been a, a, you've just learned something horrible, someone close to you has just been killed or whatever. If a psychologist comes up and says, okay, I'm going to have you start writing. All the research says that's probably not good for you. However, I've had people tell me that immediately after something, they started writing and it, it saved their life. But I do know for many people, it's not healthy. And in fact, the average person, when they've had something really bad happen, in the first hours and days afterwards, they tend to do things to distract themselves. They start cleaning obsessively. They pay bills. They, uh, you know, I had a horrible thing happen with me. And I, uh, the way I dealt with it, I started playing, uh, just when computers came out, I had a, a copy of Pac-Man and I played Pac-Man probably 10 hours a day for a week. And I sure got good at Pac-Man, but, uh, but I also felt that that was really healthy for me because this was a really big deal. I had been turned down for tenure at, at uh, when I was a, a young faculty member, which often is career destroying. And that while I was, playing Pac-Man, I was able to kind of process a lot of this stuff, but at, you know, I was almost titrating, letting some of it in at a time. And I think that's where distraction is, can be really healthy in the early days of a traumatic experience. If I were uh, still obsessing it all the time, six months later, then I would say writing would be a really good idea. I think the rule I have is, is if you find yourself thinking and worrying about and dreaming about something too much, writing will probably be good. If immediately after something horrible happens and you're thinking about it all the time, you know, that's not too much. That's frankly, that's normal. It's just when it gets to this point that other people are sick of hearing you talk about, that's when writing might be good. Mm -hmm. 